just like something that God's done that you're like, wow, that was crazy. Yeah. And then also let's get one good, good mistake that you made on the business side. Dude, when it comes to mistakes, like just ask me what happened that week. And I'll be like, oh man, dude, let me tell you about this stupid thing that I did or somebody else did or man. Um, so to go with the bad, because we, we should always end on a good note. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's do the bad and then we'll end Yeah, the so to, to go with the bad, man, look, it's so easy to just point to like things that lost money. And so like I've had plenty of flips in bad deals that have lost me like literally a cumulative millions of dollars. And it sucks, dude. It sucks. Like some of them were in my control. Some were out of my control. The market shifts, you know, they decide to double interest rates and you're kind of like, you're holding all these properties. And when you're a big business and like you, you get hit harder than, you know, what, you know, somebody else would. So, you know, I've lost a lot of money on house flips. Um, I've gone through a lot of heartache and problems in partnerships I've had to get rid of. Um, and I'll tell you one of the common themes that I've really been preying on. And, you know, one of my friends, Blake, um, who's actually our podcast host um, for Wealthy Kingdom podcast, he sent me a verse the other day about like um, yoking up with believers and things that you do. Because I was actually asking a few of my mentors, I'm like, do you think that like I should only partner with Christians? You know, because that's a tough decision. Like, you know, we, we've got a lot of non-believers who work for me, but they all carry Christian values, you know, at least in the workplace. But a lot of the problems came from my, my partnerships with non-believers. And I was like, man, that's, that's a lesson I still have not fully come to terms with. Um, but, you know, when you start a lot of businesses, inevitably you're going to have more problems and you're going to have ones that just don't work out or even some that they work out, but they're no longer worth the time because now you're doing bigger things. So I've had to go through all that. I like, I like for people to know that the bigger the business, the bigger the problems and the more problems, but your capacity has grown over time where that what bothered you five years ago, let's say the one flip that lost 20 grand. Yeah. You'd be like, all right, like on to the next one now. Because yeah. your capacity grows. I've always been super impressed by that. I look at some of my friends that run bigger companies and I'm like, you have a lot bigger problems. You have a lot more of them, but your capacity, it's just like, yeah, if you 100%. just grow over time. Yeah. And I actually, so the first big problem I went through in 2018 in regards to that, it was basically, let's call it a million dollar problem, right? Like I had a million dollar hole that I had to figure out how to fill because of losses and other things. And so that was super scary. I'd never had that big of a problem you know, and I didn't have the money to fix it. I had to figure out how to get creative to fix it. And so, you know, end up fixing it, solving that problem. You know, then, you know, you graduate and you have a $10 million problem. I'm like, holy crap, this is a big liability. How do we fix this? I mean, you know, don't have this cash just sitting on the sidelines ready to like, how do we fix this? And so you got to get creative and fix it. And I'll tell you, as I was going through that problem, the thing I was thinking about was, you know, at that time, I think Elon Musk had just like been forced to buy Twitter and he had like a $40 billion problem. <laughs> and I'm like, you know what? My problem's not that bad. Elon Musk gets the right to have a $40 billion problem, you yeah. know? So if I can't solve a $10 million problem, how am I going to solve a $100 million problem, right? So, you know, in the end, um, you know, get past that. And inevitably, as I grow, I'm going to have, hopefully, a hundred million dollar problem yep. that I've got to solve. And Elon's problem just got a little bit bigger, bro. Yeah. 